Hey there, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Marco Plays Risk. I'm Marco, I play Risk progressive at a master level. And today we are playing uh, the classic map with four players. Uh, again, this is not my lobby. So I don't know who these players are. I don't really know the level. I think it was just a pretty open lobby. Um, novice to grand master, yeah, so pretty much everyone allowed in here. I go first and I get the Australia start. Interesting. Okay, so I would be uh, very stupid to not take that. Yeah, I'm in the white pieces this game. Normally I'm orange, so I will probably be confused about that all game. Um, okay, so what are the settings? World Domination Classic 120 second turn timer, so very long. Progressive balanced dice. Starting with three out of four um, uh, territories in Australia is pretty lucky. And now I already have a nine guard on turn one, so I don't think anyone can challenge that anytime soon. So I think I'm fine with that just uh, staying the way it is and just kind of accumulating value over time. Uh, so, and then I just want to take some territory somewhere else. I think I will try and consolidate my Europe troops, maybe position in Ukraine. Seems like red and blue are starting a fight over South America. Red is not done with the turn just yet. Red, are you still with us? Yeah, okay. Maybe Red is not sure what to do. Not fortifying anything. Orange. So orange is in the likeliest position to attack me because he has a bunch of big stacks in Asia. Spreading out though. So, so far these seem to be newer players. Having a bunch of small stacks is usually not the way to go in progressive. Okay, but that makes it so that I don't really have an easy take in Europe. I can make one in Africa or in Asia. Yeah, um, I will do it in Asia and then slowly stack up my troops in Europe. And maybe I won't even lose any of my starting troops, really. Maybe I can put them all into a big stack. That would be very nice. Blue moving into a South America. Blue definitely has more troops there than red. 
So Red should better find a better position. Red now adding in North America. So where do you want to go? I mean, no one really played in North America, but there are still a lot of troops in there. Taking one. Yeah, not sure what to do. So red is definitely a new player. Maybe their first, second game. They seem very unsure about what to do. So I guess a red is just thinking very hard about every move. So that's gonna be a, a long game. <laughs> Um, okay, taking the two, doing an attack, yeah, that's, uh, that's just nothing really, even if he did take it, that would, would have no value to him, none whatsoever. Okay, but stacking up troops. Orange. I'm a bit worried about orange. Because I am not orange in this game. Um, okay. Orange may be going for Africa or just doing random attacks also. Okay. So this lobby is full of very new players. Um, so it would be very embarrassing for me to lose this game. <laughs> um, so since all of these are very new players, um, I think I would be wise to make a big stack of death and set myself up to kill any one of them at any given time. So, yeah, I stack up here again. And put my five on the two. So I just want to have kind of big-ish stacks that have good access to all the players. Blue seems to kind of know what they're doing. now guarding the South American position. So red and orange will probably be the first ones to bite the dust. Okay, red. Trying to take North America, it seems, which is fine by me. Okay, and gets it. So now, yeah, doesn't really have a lot of troops to guard North America. Uh, so it's kind of likely that uh, blue will just break them. I don't have a match. But given how uh, red and orange are playing right now, 
um, I may not even have to take the first match because either one of them will just go, oh, I have a match, just give me the four troops. So, red has 24. But there's an orange five in the way. Hmm. Okay, so it will still be a moment until um, we can make a kill. Orange now taking a long time. Just checking the AI difficulty. It's an expert in case Orange um, doesn't want to play anymore. Which may be the case. Okay, stocking up in Europe. If you're a new player and you're in orange, an orange's position here, as this may already feel quite bad to you, because you're the only one not holding a continent. So orange may feel quite weak now. Um, yeah, I think I do my take in Ukraine. These onto one. And then I want to put uh, this six onto this eight or the other way around. And then I got two biggish stacks. Okay, so... Blue is breaking red. That's... Not a huge surprise. To be honest, I may also be able to just hold Asia for a couple of turns <laughs> this game. This five from orange is a bit of a problem because it kind of stops me from uh, killing red easily. So, red, what do you do? Do you take it back? In red's position, I think you have pretty much already lost because you wasted so many troops. So I think the smartest way to play this would be just to take one and merge your troops and just try to stay alive because Blue has shown that he has no respect for your territorial integrity so you just have to assume that he's gonna break you over and over again yeah even if you split three and three okay orange orange wants to take africa who rolls a six on three. But that removes red from Africa. So red is now a little bit easier to kill. So I put my troops here. Gotta be careful because I don't want to make it so that A red is easy to kill for, for anyone but me. So I want to keep these territories alive. 
Blue again. Breaking red. No surprises there. Okay, so if no one matches uh, this turn, I will have to make the first match. Um, and we'll have to see if I have enough to kill red. So red has... So I have to count this as red also, because I don't think orange will move this. So this is uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 19. So that's gonna be close. And these two can be killed by this 12. Nineteen. I got seventeen. To kill nineteen, I think I at least need thirty, thirty-four, uh, thirty-five. Because there's also a lot of territory that I have to take. Hmm. Red not taking the match. Can I kill orange? Not really. Except if orange breaks through here. Attacks something in Europe. Uh, this is a six. So I need a, I don't know, 11, 12? Having twice the amount of troops. Uh, is the safest bet. Ah, but I also can't access this. So this would be 27. Doesn't really feel like it's enough though. Hmm. Nope, doesn't feel like it's enough. Okay, so I just gotta put myself in a better position. Maybe I remove blue here. And then put my 12. Hmm. Huh. No, I think I have to prepare to kill Red one of these turns. Even if Red now takes a match, I mean he has to, um, I should still be good to take him next turn and then get three cards instead of five but that's fine and blue keeps weakening red so just making the kill easier for me and then i can take these two and then roll over with my 21 to Kill everything in North America. Having a match on my next turn would make it a little bit easier. Or orange moving out of the way. Red still insists on defending North America. But blue is not having it. Do you roll on the two? 
Maybe you do. It's not a 100% probability. Doesn't do it. Okay. Yeah, no one, no one is really trying to mess with me this game, which feels weird. Orange matching for 10. Just stocking up in Africa, yeah, and now taking in Europe. Uh, I got six, so that's 27. No, that's not quite enough, but I will run through uh, oranges five now. I am not waiting any longer. And then I should be in a good position to kill Red next turn. As long as he doesn't match. I do have a match next turn. So even if Red matches, I would be able to take him, but uh then it would just be one card that i can take blue now moving out of japan for a card blue's now kind of locked in Okay, red setting up to defend. Won't be enough though. <coughs> red now with 37. So that's 33 in here. And then I get 12 plus 7 or 6. I think it's 7. Um, so that's 18. Which will make this a 40 or 41. Still a little bit close. I don't want to use all my troops for a kill that I may not get. Orange now moving to Europe. Oh, I get five. Um. Okay, so it's not this turn either. That would be 17. Hmm. So I think I will move out of Australia now. Hmm, 
and then maybe meet up with this. Or I just merge my... Hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah, I really need more troops than that. Okay, so I move out of Australia. That will give someone the opportunity to move in here. And I won't get my plus two anymore, but that doesn't worry me at this point anymore. Yeah, and blue is taking the opportunity. Huh? Not quite. Uh, red now getting eight units per turn. You, uh, red caught up in units now. Oh, and red didn't take a card last turn. So, red didn't match last turn and, uh, should not be able to match this turn either. 44 units. I can't do it. 44 units, that's 12 on my next match. Uh, maybe I should just try and hold Asia. Orange is matching, okay. So now that's 15. Twenty units, fifty four. Yeah, okay. So this should do it. Okay, so give me your cards. I'll take another match. Uh, six. Uh, I gotta split here and there, so I make this 12. Uh, 35 uh, is not enough. Also, not enough to kill Orange. Okay, so I take Asia now, because what the hell. And then we'll see how my opponents react. Um, kind of want to get my 18 out of the way here. because blue is about to match and I fear they will run through my stack, no matter how big it is. OK. 
Okay, blue now taking North America. Let's see how far they'll go. Leaving a defensive stack in Greenland. Breaking into Asia. But stopping in Kam Kamchatka. They should have really gone down to Australia there. Okay, freeing up my 19. Um, so the game is still pretty even. Blue now has uh, the most bonuses. I just won one big stack. Then I can match next turn. And then I should be able to kill orange or blue or both. Probably both. I start with orange. <clears throat> yep, break me all the way. Seventy eight against sixty nine. Um, that will, will very much depend on my role on the 34. Um, do I roll the dice? Yeah. I think I played this game a little bit too cautiously because I don't want to lose to a bunch of noobs. Okay, so now we break all of this. This stack here, and then we should be golden. Yeah, I got another match next turn. So do your worst, blue. I may actually die now that I think about it. 120 seconds is a lot of time. So as long as he doesn't mess up. Hmm. So I could actually lose here.
Oh, and it seems like I will. Blue is not the fastest, but it's also not the slowest. Hmm. Yeah, not making any positioning errors. Uh, well, damn it. I lose. Uh. Ah, uh, why do I get impatient? I should have waited. Fucking hell. Uh. Oh, blue was a master. Okay, so I don't feel too bad about losing to blue, but still. I should have won this. I think I was too fast at taking red. Maybe. But blue also played this very weirdly. Trying to hold on to the continents with all their might. Oh well. Uh, that's how this one goes, I guess. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed, leave a like uh, and a comment. And tell me how impatient I am and how I totally could have won this. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.